Hey guys, I'm Dan, one of the founders at Snowflake. This video will teach you how to create, play and share your custom skins in Turbo Pug DX. What is a custom skin? So a custom skin is a customised level skin. These can be played from the custom skins menu in Turbo Pug DX. The online skins were all created using the same format and template that I'll show you in a moment. Where to begin? If you click custom skins in the main menu, it'll take you here. You can see online skins and your skins. Online skins are skins made by other users that have been added to the game for other players to enjoy. Your skins is where you can see the skins that you've created and imported into your own game. So this is how you can create your own custom skin. Click the manage tab and you'll get a window pop up like this. This is where you need to drop your custom skin files in order to play them in game. As you can see, there is a custom skin help file and a template file already here for you to check out. Let's open the help file. You can see that there are quite a few sections of text to look at. It might seem like a lot to take in at first, but it's actually really simple. The help file will cover everything I talk about in this video. Now we want to open the template file. You can use any image editing software that supports layers. You should have four layers. You should have a background, a frames, colours and a guide layer. The guide layer contains the artwork used in one of the game's levels, so you can edit this or you can completely redraw it. Your artwork for a custom skin should always stay inside the white lines displayed on the frames layer. We'll talk about the colours layer in a moment, but for now you should focus on preparing the artwork for your level skin. If you look at the frames layer, you can see some semi-transparent lines over here. The semi-transparent lines represent the collider's shape, so it's really important to have an object that at least roughly follows that shape. It doesn't need to be exact, but it should be close. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to remove all the colours from the artwork here. Now that you've created your artwork, we just need to set up the colours layer so that the game knows exactly how to display weather and some other things properly. Let me explain how this works. On the colours layer, in the template, you can find this image. And if you look in the template help file, you can see the same image, except this time it's laid out and displayed so that you can see what each individual colour in that image represents and how it works. If you change the water main to red and detail to black, this is what happens in game. Likewise, you can change just the transparency of anything here. The colours above the boxes are the default colours that the game uses, just in case you want to reset them before saving your custom skin. The transparency of the colour in the boxes affects the object's visibility. If it's entirely transparent, the object will be absent from the game. For example, you might want to delete or make snow completely transparent when creating a desert custom skin. You can also remove or change colours of the pug coins, player sprite, the sky, the moon and the stars. Now that we've drawn our custom skin and set up the colours, we need to save it so that we can test it in game. Remember, before saving your custom skin file, you'll need to set the background and frame layers as invisible. When naming your custom skin file, you'll need to stick to this format. A single underscore acts as a space. A double underscore will separate the skin ID, the skin name and the author of your skin. Here's an example. Now you need to save it into the custom folder. It's important to remember that the file you save your custom skin as has to be a PNG file. And we can just hit refresh in the custom skin menu in-game and your skin will pop up. Now you're free to test it in-game. If you need to edit your skin, you can overwrite your original PNG file and in order to load it in-game, you'll need to always hit refresh again each time. You can share these skins with friends and submit them to us. We'll include some skins in the online skin section. That about covers it for setting up custom skins in Turbo Pug DX. Have fun guys, and as always, please try not to squish your pugs.